Hi guys, it's Ashley from Level Up English and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a lesson on English demonstratives. Now, do you ever start speaking in English and you're confidently speaking to someone in an everyday conversational manner and then suddenly you don't know how to use the words this or that or these and those? Now, the words this, that, these and those are wonderful examples of English demonstratives. And so today we are going to look at how to use these words correctly so that you can prevent any future grammatical errors when you speak. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so you never miss out on an English lesson again and also so that you will receive notifications for my live lessons. You are also welcome to follow me on Facebook for more English learning content. All my links can be found in the description of this video. If you are wanting to improve your grammar and learn how to use English demonstratives, then continue watching this video. First, let me clarify when you would use this and that and when you would use these and those. This and that is used for singular terms. This hand, that hand, and these and those are used for plural terms. These earrings, those earrings. So this and that is used for singulars and these and those are used for plurals. Now, let's look at the difference between all these words. We are going to start by looking at the word this, this. When should we use the word this? Number one, we use this for people and things that are near to the speaker. Example, do you like this watch or do you like this blue? Next, we can use this to introduce someone. This is my friend Teddy or this is Teddy. We can also use it while we are on the phone and need to introduce ourselves. Hello, this is Ashley or Hello, this is Ashley speaking. We use this to talk about things that are near in time. And number five, this is also used in time phrases such as this summer or this year. Example, I am going on holiday during the summer or I am going to do some shopping this weekend. And finally, we use this to refer to something that is going to happen in the future or something that we are going to say or do. Now, let's look at that. When should we use the word that? One, for people and things that are not near the speaker. I can't reach that camera or I can't see that car. We use that to talk about things that are further away in time. And finally, we use that to refer to something that has just happened. Example, that was amazing or that was awesome. Or, did you see that? Now let's look at these and those. Let's start with these. We use these when people or things are near the speaker. Example, these are my earrings or these are my rings. And we use these to talk about things that are near in time as well. And now finally, let's look at those. When should we use those? We use those for people and things that are not near us. Example, look at those rings and to talk about things that are further away in time. Now, what we are going to do for the rest of this lesson is we're going to do a little exercise. We are going to decide if we would say this is an apple or that is an apple. This or that. Now, would we say this is an apple or that is an apple? This or that. We say that because there is a distance between me, the speaker, and the apple, which is over there. So we would say that is an apple. Let's look at an example using the words these and those. Now, would we say these are apples or those are apples? These or those? We would say these because the apples are close to me, the speaker. So we would need to say these are apples. 
Now, if the apples were there, we would say those are apples because there is a distance between me, the speaker, and the apples. Let's look at another example. Here we have a book, one book. Now, would we say this is a book or that is a book? We would say this is a book because we can see the book is quite close to me. We can even be creative with our sentence and say, this is a beautiful book or this book is interesting. Let's try one more example. Here we have two books. Now, would we say these books or those books? We would say these are new books or these books are very interesting. And there you have it. English demonstratives using this, that, these and those to help you to improve your English speaking and English fluency. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button and comment on which rule you found the most interesting. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on any new English lessons and so that we can continue learning and growing together. You can also check out my Facebook page and Telegram channel for more exclusive English learning content. The links can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for your time and this is Ashley Hale with Level Up English signing out. Goodbye.